good afternoon from our yearly trip out to IAPA. We're here to see all kinds of new amusement park and theme park tech and all kinds of other fun stuff. Food, everything, everything. So this is going to be a fun time. Let's head on in and check it out. I like how even the sign is like an amusement ride. It looks like a Ferris wheel. Also wanted to show you guys that we are covering this event as press, so the badge was provided to us free of cost from IAPA. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. There's so much stuff already going on every which What's direction that we look. Yeah. Sylvester the cat is out here playing catch with everybody. Whoa, there's a giant cow right there. There's also a littler one in front of it. Oh, there's a dog. Every time I walk into this place, it's like sensory overload. There are so many things going on. It's so interesting being at the show because everything is represented here, including roller coaster wheels. Because the people that make roller coasters and install roller coasters come here to look at new tech. Holy cow, gigantic bronze animals. Look at the size of this lion right here. It's massive. Over here at the Intamin booth, they have a little VR representation of their drop towers. They're gonna go on a drop tower in virtual reality. It's all strapped in. One example of an Intamin drop tower is Falcon's Fury at Bush Gardens. Oh, he's looking down. Looks like he's being, being dragged up the tower, looking around. Oh, oh no, just like Falcon's Fury, it tilts you back. Oh, now he's looking straight down at the ground. He's getting ready to drop him. Oh no! Ah, there he goes. Oh, this guy is making a lot of cotton candy right now. Look at that. He's like the cotton candy wizard. <laughs> Holy macaroni. This is the thing about IAPA. It's hard to explain what it is. It's just best to kind of show you. It's basically everything. Like these are bumper boats. They've got some go-karts over there. They have like a display of trams here. This is like an off-road tram. Look at that. I wonder if you'd use this for like, I guess like wildlife parks. This is really neat. We're walking up on the Pro Slide booth, which is the company that built all of the water slides at Volcano Bay. They have a little model with all of the different types of slides that they have. You can see some of them probably look very familiar. So the Disney Skyliner is a gondola system that is being built at Disney right now. I think this is probably what the gondola units are gonna be like. They say they're gonna have ventilated windows, kind of seat 16. I think this is it. I think this is one of the gondolas or a type of gondola like the one that will be the Disney Skyliner. It's kind of comfortable. You know, I flew to Orlando today and boy are my wings tired. <laughs> I want to tell you all about a mystery happening on Sesame Street. Detective Rover is turning over every leaf searching for clues, but we need your help. Come along with me and all my Sesame Street friends on this awesome adventure today! So Sally is opening up a dark ride at Port Aventura in Spain based around Sesame Street and this is one of the animatronics that will be in that ride. This was just announced today. Oh, it's like a water fountain projector or a waterfall projector printer, I guess. Welcome. It's pretty neat. The thing about IAPA is you have no real plan as to where you're going. You're just kind of walking around looking at all the stuff that's around, like this guy. He's EF Man. The pucker powder booth is real popular. People are just getting their free samples of pucker powder. These are like crunchy candy bits and then pucker powder. There's a booth here that does temporary tattoos. This is glimmer body art, glitter tattoos. Just revealed today too, the Gravity Group revealed the car for the Kentucky Flyer coming to Kentucky Kingdom. Gravity Group does wooden roller coasters. And this is the car for the one that's coming up. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Gravity Group did the uh, mind blower at Fun Spot. This show is for all different kinds of companies and amusement attractions and different things like that. So you can tell they sell a lot of like lights and you know, bumper cars, all kinds of different stuff or show off. I guess some of it's for sale, but most of it's just for being showed off. Oh, some singing penguins. One thing that's a constant every year is the ropes course. So this one is by Sky Tikes. It looks pretty into, oh look, there she goes. She's doing a zip line. So this is two different trails. So there's that one out there that's for adults. And here he goes, he's getting ready to zip line out. Whoa. Look at it. He looks so relaxed doing it. Like piece of cake. Does it a hundred times a day. And this one's for the kids out here. 
Whoa, they have a bunch of different climbing walls back there too. This one looks almost like a video game. These are really neat. This is where everybody comes to buy all those snow soap machines. The snow machines. Oh no, that kid's having a blast doing it though. Ooh, hot dog on a stick. We went to that in LA. Let's grab one. There's my hot dog on a stick. They called it American cheese on a stick. They also told me it was extremely hot, so I'm gonna wait a second before eating it. It's like a little ball on a stick. Let's see. That was cheese on a stick. It was very delicious, but I was expecting a hot dog. Just cheese. I wouldn't have expected them to give me mustard and ketchup for cheese. Whoa. Look at this thing. It's making a crazy funnel of foam. It's like a foam pit. Foam party. Uh-oh. Is he starting another one up? Whoa. What is it doing? Oh my. It's like re-fluffing it. Whoa. This is uh, actually really frightening. Oh, jeez. Holy macaroni. That thing is intense. Amazing foam cannons. They were quite amazing. Well, this is intriguing. Interactive water slides. What makes them interactive? Whoa, look at that thing. It's like a party on a water slide. Ooh, I'm like heading back into the arcade section. These kids are playing beer pong. Well, power pong. Oh look, the, the cups go down. Look at these giant Christmas decorations. That's a giant Christmas bobble and there's people inside of it. They're on a Rabbids VR game. Oh no, they're going down a hill. <laughs> this is awesome. She's like riding a video game horse. She did pretty good, she got 10. Well then, this is absolutely frightening. What do we have to do? How to play. You have three chances to get the balls in the clown's mouth. Ugh. Oh no, I missed. Uh, hyper bowling? There's a bowling alley here that looks like it's it's not made of wood. It's, uh, it's cool looking, whatever it is. Let's see. Looks like somebody's getting ready to bowl right now. Oh, there it goes. Nice. There's an entire bowling alley in here right now. Can we just talk about that for a second? They even have a smaller version over here. Ooh, if you ever wondered how one of those vending machine pool tables works, when the ball goes into the corner pocket, then it all gets collected here in the center. Kind of a long line for dip and Dots, but it is one of my favorite things and they've got a new flavor, so let's give it a try. The Tim Tracker coming to you with the latest and greatest dip and Dots flavors. This is Cool Mint Crunch. Basically like mint, and vanilla and Oreos. These guys are like VR hang gliding. That guy looks like he's having a real hard time controlling his hang glider. Oh my. Well, that looks uh, like it might make you a little bit sick. Holy macaroni. Like a family ride here that's shaped like Grave Digger. It's almost like that large bus type tram that we saw earlier. Oh man, we went on this last year. It about made us sick, but it was fun. I have a whole bunch of inflatables out here, including this one, the best one here. This is the thumbnail. SeaWorld San Diego just announced the Tidal Twister, and this is the ride vehicle for it. It's a dueling coaster, which I, I want to ride it because we haven't had a dueling coaster in a long time. Wow, look at that. Whoa, and then it goes backwards. Oh my. At Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, Skywarp is open now. Is this Skywarp? Yeah, Skywarp Eclipse. Whoa, this looks so scary. Is this the one that's open right now? Holy macaroni. Are both trains, like there's no chance of them ever running into each other because they're both constantly like attached to each other. Like you can see, it's one long train. Wow, there's a Diplosaurus here with a saddle on it. Look at this guy. Oh, I like this one better. He's fun. Whoa, the magic fountain. It's like a wall of fountains. Look at how neat that is. Holy cow. Wait, 
There are two bowling alleys in this place? What? Competing bowling alleys. Oh, they're like Bellagio style fountains, but on a much smaller scale. Well, there's a lot of smoke going on over there. Oh, it's a company who says we create atmosphere, and they certainly did. They did a good job of drawing me over here. So, Madame Tussauds Orlando is getting the Aquaman Jason Momoa figure for their Justice League exhibit. The last time we were there, we talked about how he would fit in perfectly, and there he is. This is the reveal of the figure for the first time the public's getting to see it. They already revealed it on their website, but there he is. Ooh, there's a scary haunted attraction right here. Also, right next to it is some form of VR, the Hollow Zone Immersive. Wax House, the Legends of Jack the Ripper. Whoa, these guys are gonna be racing here in just a second. It's like a VR racing simulator. Oh, look at it go. You can see all the actuators and stuff, so it's almost like 4D. You're really immersed in it. Whoa. That looks like a lot of fun. And of course, Zamparella has all their stuff out here. Whoa. We always ride this every year, and I might ride it again because it is a lot of fun. SNS announced Steel Curtain, which looks like it was uh, themed after the Steelers football team. Here we go. We're going on the Windstar, and I do like doing this. Whoa. I do like doing this one because it kind of gives you a bird's eye view of the entire show floor. So maybe I'll be able to see something like, oh, we haven't done that yet. We should go and do it. Uh, I'm not doing anything, I'm just all the way up at the top already. Wow. All right. Can we go down? Oh, we're going down. Okay. Then we go back up. Whoa. All right, do you guys see anything we haven't seen yet? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. This is a very large show, isn't it? I like this a lot. I'm getting kind of dizzy, though. I'm, like, paying attention to the camera, but I should be kind of, like, looking off into the distance because I am getting very dizzy. Are you guys dizzy yet? Oh dear. Whee! So, I don't think you guys can see this, but there's like a projection up there. Oh, that's like on a fan. That looks three-dimensional. Oh, it just looks like a spinning wheel to you guys, but that's a predator for me. Dang, I wish I could show you guys that. Stop by the Beaver Tails trailer, and I got the Reese's Pieces one. Yes. This looks like it's gonna be so delicious. Now we're gonna head outside. There's a whole nother area out there. Lots more to see out here. Looks like everybody can sign their name on the IAPA logo here. I wonder what they're gonna do with it at the end of this event. Oh yeah, it's like walking into the fair out here. I wonder if there's something we can ride. I'm sure there is. Came out here with hopes of riding on this frenzy one, but it looks like they're still working on it right now. Dang, today was opening day, so they're still getting it all set up. I feel like I could spend an entire four days here and still not see everything. This one, this is called Fort Battle. I think it's like a laser tag system, but I like their name, Fort Battle. Also, there's totally another ropes course in this building. They're getting ready to do some sort of VR roller coaster, I think. I'm loading them in right now. I think they're going up a hill. Oh, there they go. I think I remember this one from last year. Oh, it's showing off the precision of the Kuka arm. This is what they use to carve this. You guys might notice that this is very similar to the ride technology that is in Harry Potter and Forbidden Journey, because that is actually run by a kooka arm, which is this object right here. Whoa, there's a dinosaur here, and he seems somewhat angry. I think. Ah. Ah. Whoa! Look at this animatronic, it's really impressive. This is like a 4DX VR unit. You guys have heard of 4DX. It is it's a movie theater system that it moves and creates all kinds of different effects while you're watching the movie, but they are shooting something. Well, let's see what they're playing. That's what they're playing right there. They're like hunting down buffalo from a helicopter. Well, this is really neat. It's called the Aquatic Car, and you basically sit in it, and then this little dome comes over top of your head and is filled with air, and it's like you're sort of scuba diving, but you're in a little car. Let's see if I can kind of show you on this picture. That's what it's like. Drive around underwater. This is a scary looking arcade machine. They're in there playing right now. Fighting zombies. Shoot. So there you have it. That was the end of day one here at the IAPA convention. 
a lot of fun, a lot of really interesting things to see, a lot of new tech, a lot of big announcements coming out of this. We're definitely gonna be back for another day. I think we're gonna come towards the end of the event to see what all has changed and maybe some more things have been announced. It's kind of interesting to see how the industry is changing and what all they're adapting. I feel like maybe next year there's gonna be something really big and really innovative coming out because this year it sort of seems very similar to last year. A few new things here or there. I don't know, we'll definitely be back and we'll be on the lookout for a lot more interesting and new developments here at the IAPA convention. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.